Today is the day, everybody. I have confessions I need to share. I forget how to deadlift. What's going on? I'm not gonna lie. I kinda wanna leave. And I shouldn't put so much pressure on myself. I just gotta embrace who I am. Ooh, I'm so excited. We've got a lot to do today, y'all. We gotta get these eyebrows done. Ooh, don't look at them. They are a mess right now. We gotta get my skin tanned. We gotta get my nails fixed. Cause, uh, look at that one. She's, she's falling behind there. But oh my gosh, I'm so freaking hyped. Let's get started. Let's get this day going, everybody. This is what we working with. Ooh, and here's the after. Let's go. And here is the grand finale, or should I say the tan finale. Look how good this freaking tan looks, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy about it. It looks amazing. Also, look at my nails. They're so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. I feel glowed up, y'all. I am ready for my close-up. But first, we gotta go get our pump. So we're gonna go get those gains in, baby. Come with me, come with me to receive this pump. It's a late day, y'all, and I have to do deadlifts. Send help. I haven't been feeling very good about powerlifting lately, y'all. I have confessions I need to share. These shoes match my outfit. Oh, well. In all honesty, that was really easy, but like, I don't know. I should go up, right? I should go up, because it was easy. But also, I don't feel like it, which means I definitely should. When you don't feel like it, that's when it's most important to do it, right? So, so fuck it, fine. We're going up. Okay, I just watched that footage back and I was a little horrified at my form. I forget how to deadlift, what's going on? Actually, now I'm glad I went up because I have to redeem myself after that. after that, oh my God. Hopefully that was better. God, for our back off sets, we're using our pink wrist straps. These are just good for evening out your grip strength. If you're anything like me and use over under for eight years, you might need them. So here's the updates on powerlifting. I'm not even really... Okay. <laughs> I've been following the same program for like four months. Four. Four of them. So, yeah, I've just not been feeling very passionate about it lately. There's a meet in November that I could do, but I'm like... I'm nervous to sign up for it because I don't know what's going to be happening in November. I might be traveling for the holidays, you know. So I just feel like I have nothing to prepare for because I'm not signed up for a meet or anything. And I just haven't been feeling passionate about it. And I don't know what to do. And I feel weak. I feel alone. <laughs> and it's just like the money. Thinking about putting the money into another meet. I just don't feel that excited about it. So on one hand, I don't want to give it up. I still love it. Just my fire isn't lit up right now. I don't really know what to do. Thoughts, concerns, help. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to leave. It's one of those workouts, man. You know, we all have them. If you ever have a trashy workout like that, don't be hard on yourself. It's only human. Hey everybody! Luckily, I'm not as nervous as I thought I was gonna be because I saw a video demonstration of like what the video that I'm gonna be in is gonna be like and I don't really think I'm gonna be on the video as much as I thought. I don't really think I'm gonna be talking as much as I thought I would be. It's probably gonna be actually super chill, but you know. I do get a little bit of social anxiety sometimes, so that part scares me a little bit. But I was talking with my friend Eric. Well, I don't know if he considers us friends. Maybe more. Acquaintances? You ever have that awkward thing where you're like, do you think we're friends or is it just me that thinks we're friends but we're actually acquaintances? And... But anyways, I was talking to him about it and he was like, you know what? Even if it's just an opportunity to meet some other creators and collab with them eventually, you know? Like everything's an opportunity and 
made me feel better. And he was saying, just be yourself. And I was like, yeah, I'm just kind of shy sometimes. And he said, it's okay if that's you, then just be you. He said, I think that people that are really loud and out there are kind of annoying. So I appreciate that you're like that. It made me feel better, actually. Because sometimes I do feel the pressure to be more outgoing and talkative and loud, but that's just not me. It's just not. Once I'm comfortable with people, then yeah, obviously i'm more outgoing but it takes me a while it takes me a while to warm up to people and it's something i've always felt like was a negative but maybe it's not maybe i'm just a human being and i shouldn't put so much pressure on myself to try to be that person because i feel like society kind of favorites extroverts i feel like the yin and the yang is important we need a balance we need variety in this world imagine if you could only have cheese pizza and you had no other options no other flavors like that would be so boring life would be so boring if we we're all just the same so i just gotta embrace who i am and just take eric's advice just be myself you know so that's what i'm gonna do i got these fake eyelashes these like no glue eyelashes and i kind of want to try them on but i'm also really bad at this kind of stuff i'm really really bad at being a girl sometimes so i don't know if i want to try them i'm kind of nervous they're gonna fall off like mid set but also they're pretty so i don't know we'll see we'll see if i decide to go with them tune back in to find out. I know. Riveting stuff. The time has come, so I'm leaving. Here's the fits. Ooh, it's so cute. I decided against the eyelashes, as you can see, because your girl wasn't about to put up with all that. But, ooh, it's finally time. I can't believe it. Let's go. I'm nervous. I'm more excited than nervous, to be honest, but let's go.